Uh, my artificial brain lab and similar labs, in a sense, we are the problem. Because what are we doing? We're, we're creating artificial brains that will get smarter and smarter every year. And you can imagine, I don't know, say 20 years from now, um, people will be spending a lot of money on their home robot. And then two or three years later, they'll buy another one. You know, they'll upgrade their home robot and they'll notice that their new one is smarter, it has richer vocabulary, it uh, remembers better, it has better logic and so on. And so they'll, they'll see for themselves, you know, millions if not billions of people, that the human intelligence level and their home robot you know, machine intelligence level, that difference over the years is getting smaller and smaller. And as, as that gap closes, millions of people will be asking questions like, well, you know, are we going to let our machines become smarter than we are? Is, is that a good thing? Is, is that dangerous? So I, I imagine a, a great debate really starting to rage as, as that gap closes. But uh, the scenario I see as the most probable, right? you can't be certain talking about the future, but the most probable scenario in, in my view, in my reasoning, is probably the worst. Stake this time, it's not the survival of a country. This time, it's the survival of us as a species. So, so I see humanity splitting into two major philosophical groups, ideological groups. One group I call uh, cosmists. That's based on the word cosmos, because that's their, their picture. And by definition, cosmos are the people who want to build these godlike, massively intelligent machines. And for them, it'd be almost like a religion, because they would be god building. I mean, these, these, these artifacts, these super creatures, live forever, you know, they'd be immortal, uh, they'd be thinking like a million times faster than we do, and no, no limit to memory, they could be the size of asteroids, whatever, and that's potentially very frightening. Now the other group opposed, they, the, their main motive would be fear. So I call that second group Terrence. If, if you look at the Terminator movies, you know, the, the essence of the movies is machines versus humans, right? Now, my personal take, I don't see, I don't see that's what's going to happen. Uh, this this Artelec war is not between the machines and humans. It's between humans and humans. Anticipating that if they don't do anything, then it really would be between machines and humans. So in a sense, you could say the, the Terminator movies are uh, educating the terrorists. I mean, it sounds like science fiction today, but uh, at least amongst the techies, the guys who think about this, it's, it's getting taken more and more seriously because we're getting closer and closer to it. I mean, we'll have intelligent home robots in our homes in, in a decade, pretty much. It's close. So if, if there's a major war, the most passionate war we've ever known, with late 21st century weaponry, then we're not talking millions getting killed. Like, like last century, 20th century, it, it, it'll be in the billions killed. You, you, you can draw a graph, but that's a sizable fraction of the population of the Earth. So it's incredibly depressing. There, there are times when I feel I'm glad I'm alive now. I'll probably die peacefully in my bed. But I calculate my grandkids will be caught up in this, and I won't. And I say, thank God, I won't see it. Each person is going to have to choose. But because it's, you know, it's a binary decision, it's, it's not fuzzy, you build them or you don't build them, right? It's black and white. So, so everyone has to choose. So, so I just chose Cosmist. Fully conscious that maybe, you know, can't be certain, but maybe the price of that choice is ultimately, maybe humanity gets wiped out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's scary, it's, it's frightening. Because if we go ahead and actually build these, these godlike creatures, these, these artilates, then they, they become the dominant species. And so the human beings remaining, their fate depends not on the humans, but on the artilates, because the artilates will be hugely in more
intelligent than them. I mean, if you're a cow, for example, and you have a very nice life, and you eat all this grass every day, and you get nice and fat and happy, but ultimately, you're being <laughs> fed <laughs> for a reason, right? So these superior creatures, at the end of the day, take, take you to a special little box and 